All right, you guys, today we're gonna try something new. Something I've never done. What's up guys? Good morning. Actually, yeah, it's already afternoon. So good afternoon. Let's change that. Uh, I actually wanted to take you guys with me all day. I planned on getting up this morning and pretty much just vlogging, taking you guys with me. I had a few things that I wanted to do that I wanted to share with you guys. One of the things is something I've never done on my channel, which we'll get into in just a second. And then I wanted to put out some of my Halloween decorations. I figured I would take you guys with me to do that. I had a recipe to share with you for dinner time. So just a bunch of fun things figured I would take you with me um I didn't expect to show up like this I know I probably look like a hot mess I did not get ready for the day at all but I'm feeling a bit underneath the weather um I don't know if you guys have been with me for a super long time but in the beginning of this year I let you guys know I was having like a series of headaches and it was going on for like a couple of weeks on end where just it was debilitating and it was right there and I couldn't edit and I couldn't really focus on the computer it was hard and it I, it was making my job difficult it was making taking care of my kids hard because I really just wasn't feeling well but I hadn't been staying with my medication like up to date with that. I'm on blood pressure medication. I had a huge spike in blood pressure when I gave birth to Maya. I had no blood pressure issues the entire time. And then during the C-section, I had a huge spike in my blood pressure and then it stayed consistent through after my postpartum. And my doctor let me know that sometimes there's like post natal blood pressure issues and that something happened during the birth of having her and after and it kept my blood pressure spiked and then now it just I'll forever have like hypertension now from that time and so I've been on blood pressure medicine since Maya's been born and when we first moved here like everything was just so crazy with you know everything going on being scammed all that yada yada that I just never got normalcy so I never switched over my medications and all that kind of stuff so I finally like did that not long after like I spoke with you guys and said I was having these headaches and I don't know if it was just a coincidence but it did help um my headaches kind of dissipated and I've been on medication since then like actively since the first week in March so I really feel like this has nothing to do with this even though it's the same thing it's been a headache now for literally i think i'm on three weeks and it's every day it's the second i open up my eyes that i feel like this incredible pulsating in my temples and some days i just don't want to do anything like most of the time i post way more than i've even been but i have like there's no normalcy because between trying to teach the kids and everything else that I have just going on, sometimes I can't even focus on this because my head hurts so, so bad. Um, and my girlfriend Lauren is a pharmacist and like she has her doctorate, you know, in order to be a pharmacist. So um, I like called her and I was like, I need your help. Like, I don't know what else to do. And she started like rambling a bunch of stuff off. And one of the things she said is, do you hydrate? And I was like, I'm the worst for that. I drank a couple of cups of coffee during the day and then maybe a glass of milk with dinner and that's about it. Like, I do not drink at all. So this morning, I get a knock on the door from the Amazon delivery driver who dropped off this bottle. She sent a bottle to me with a little note that says like, I challenge you to drink this twice a day for three weeks and see if that helps regulate your body because you're definitely dehydrating yourself and that could be a big source of your headaches but i did wake up this morning with another headache so i did not get on top of the day like i was supposed to but we are still going to persevere on and like i said today is going to be something fun i've never done um again it's a late start but it doesn't matter because i pretty much only sleep four hours a day so there's no structure to my time so what if it's afternoon we're still going to do breakfast but i'm going to do a what i eat in the day but we're going to do it dollar tree style and i'm actually excited about it because i've never done a what i eat in the day on my channel ever because i really barely eat that's why i'm so heavy because i don't 
eat properly. Like I should eat multiple meals during the day and smart choices and whatever, and I don't. Most of the time I can go all day without eating and then I eat something at night and it's the wrong thing and then I go to bed shortly after and then I don't eat for the rest of the day. So that's really, really poor for me. So I've kind of stayed away from this video, but I have a friend, Tiffany, over at PK Mom Life. She has been following me for ever and she has her own channel we've always kind of communicated i'm subscribed to her channel she does a lot of like unboxings and clothing like stitch fix and thread up and all that kind of stuff and so she's always asked to collab with me but we were always kind of missing each other like when i got my stitch fix she had just done hers or she was due like a month later we were never really on target for a schedule so i told her hey what do you want to do like if you want to collab come up with something and let's do it it'll be great and so she came up with hey what about a what i eat in the day no first she said let's do dollar tree and i was like okay i just put one out though so we'll have to wait i only do one like you know every couple of weeks once a month that kind of thing i said do you want to wait then she came back with what what if we do a Dollar Tree styled video and we do a what I eat in the day solely Dollar Tree version style. And I freaking loved that because you guys know me and my food finds at the Dollar Tree. And so I was like, yes, girl, that is what we are going to do. So I'm going to leave all of Tiffany's information down below. Please go so show her some love. She has literally been showing me love for so so long and i would love to just reciprocate by sending some love back to her so go over subscribe to her channel check out what she's doing for what i eat in the day for her dollar tree style as well so i'm going to show you what i wanted to do for breakfast um so in my last dollar tree haul you guys are getting a little sneak peek at my messy pantry i can't wait to move so i can like redo all of this um but i picked this up and i think that this would be perfect for me to just kind of do like a something small because again i don't really do breakfast and it's already late oh it doesn't want to focus it doesn't like you cinnabon there we go so this is cream of wheat which is my absolute favorite like i like this better than oatmeal and it says it's cinnabon flavor and there's three packs in here so i think i'm only i don't know usually one pack of cream of wheat is like not enough for me so i don't know if i want to do two packs of the cream of wheat it sounds so good i probably would like that or one pack and one of these so i also got this from the dollar tree not sure if i wanted to have this today or not so it's one of these jimmy dean english muffin sausage and cheese things it's actually the only like freezer kind of product that I bought and I bought this when I went to Dollar Tree last time and I put it in the freezer and I forgot to take it out of the freezer to share with you guys. So I did buy this in my last Dollar Tree haul but just never shared it and it's just a English muffin with sausage and cheese sandwich. So I don't know, I think that's a little much for me right now. I think I should start with the cream of wheat and then maybe move on to the sandwich but I feel like I'm gonna be doing a lot more eating today than I normally do just because I don't um, eat during the day but um, I'm gonna eat this and then this is what we're making for dinner so there's more ingredients I just kind of took some stuff out before while I was going through the pantry but I got this sandwich meal at the Dollar Tree and my husband absolutely loves 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 sloppy joes but my kids don't like it like on a hamburger bun because it's sloppy and they don't understand like why the meat and stuff is all falling out of the sandwich so we never eat it because they don't like it and i hate not being able to make things that he loves because my kids don't really enjoy it so um we're gonna make this tonight in a casserole so you make the hash browns they recommend you use like frozen hash browns but i ain't messing with that not when i have this really awesome like idaho spuds these are the ones that waffle house uses to make their amazing hash browns and i've already made them once before and they're so so good so we're going to use this and you hydrate these and once they're all hydrated and ready to go then you mix it with some onions and some cheddar cheese and then you lay that at the bottom of your crock pot and then 
there's like a few more ingredients. Again, I have to pull the recipe and stuff, so I'll share it with you guys. But then you mix in the sandwich meal and like whatever other ingredients into the ground beef, and then you put it on top and you cook it for like three to four hours, and then you just put some cheese on top of it, and it's like a cheesy sandwich meal casserole. So that's what we're gonna do for dinner. Plus, I do have a snack lined up and a lunch-ish lined up from the Dollar Tree as well. But for now, I'm gonna go ahead and make myself some cream of wheat and I actually just think that I'm gonna use the hot water from my coffee pot I don't know if you guys have ever done that before but um, my little Keurig works as just brewing hot water too as long as you have no um, you know pod in here so my husband left his little crave coffee in there so I'll wait for this to heat up because it has an automatic shut off it's the only thing I hate about this pot so I'm gonna wait for it to heat up and then I'm gonna brew some water and then we'll go ahead and make some cream of wheat I'll probably make it right in a mug All right, guys, so I did decide on two packages. So I have one left that I'll use for another time, but I haven't had cream of wheat in so long, and this just like screams a winter breakfast for me. I always used to get the like little miscellaneous fruit box, and it would have peaches and cream and bananas and cream and strawberries and cream, which is my absolute favorite. And it would have like these little dehydrated strawberries in there that were so, so good. Um, so I kind of think that once I sit down and start getting ready to eat it, I'm going to miss it and love it so much that I'm going to wish I had made that second pack. So why wish I just went ahead and did it. So I'm going to let this thicken a little bit. I actually like when my cream of wheat gets a little thicker. So I usually let it sit for like a couple of minutes. You can even see it's already kind of starting to get more of that thick consistency than watery. So I'm going to let this thicken and then I'm going to sit and I'm going to eat and I'll let you guys know how it is because I've never had the Cinnabon one before and it sounds delicious. All right. So that's something about cream of wheat I always hated. So one package like isn't enough, but two is too much. And I finished the whole thing and I am so, so full and it made me warm. Like I had to take my hoodie off because I am so, so hot um, right now. And so I'm going to go ahead and take a break for a minute. I have to film something for another video and I am going to go ahead and take some aspirin because getting hotter made my headache worse. So uh, I'm going to persevere, like I said, and push through. I'm going to go take some headache medicine and go film what I need to for that other video and get the kids on another assignment for school and then I will be back to do some decorating with you guys. All right you guys so here are all the ingredients you're going to need to make this recipe. So I have about a pound it's probably closer to two pounds of ground beef. I have like about a cup and a half of shredded cheese, a small onion, a one egg, some sandwich meal, and then a can of this cheddar cheese condensed soup. And then I have the Idaho spuds. Like I said, we're going to turn that into hash browns. The recipe calls for 32 ounces, which is four cups. And there's a breakdown of instructions right here on the bottom on how to make a partial carton preparation because in the Waffle House they literally just fill this with water and leave it at the station where they make hash browns and they like fluff up when they're ready and then they serve right out of the box. So it shows you right here that there's a full carton preparation and then there's a smaller breakdown. And so we just need the four cups which is one and a half cups of hot water and then one and a half cups of these dehydrated um, hash browns. So we're gonna get those all fluffed up and ready to go and then just salt and pepper that's it so um we're gonna go ahead and get that part done first let's get our potatoes fluffed up and then we're gonna mix that with the egg the salt and pepper and the cheddar cheese to get our bottom layer
All right, guys, so I diced my onion, salt, and pepper into the ground beef, and it's cooking up on the stove right here. Once that's all done, we'll add in the sandwich meal and stir that around. And then here is our potatoes. They're like officially hydrated now. So we're going to mix in some salt, some pepper, one egg, and that cheddar condensed soup. And then we'll go back to the crock pot and layer everything. Beyond gravel, beyond Alright guys, so all steps are done. I have some non-stick cooking spray that I'm going to use, even though we have a liner just to make sure that nothing sticks. We have our potato mixture that's going to go in first, and then we have our um, sandwich meal ground beef. Now I did leave a little bit of the oil. I didn't take all of it off because I thought it would be good to have a little bit of the oil to flavor the potatoes and also any extra grease maybe would crisp the potatoes a little bit. I don't like mushy potatoes, so I'm hoping this recipe will kind of crisp them a little bit. My crock pot gets stupid hot, so we should be fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray that down and layer that down. And then just to share with you, I am snacking on these little Stacy's pita chips, whoa in parmesan and herb and garlic or whatever so that's what i've been munching on because all the smell of the food while i was cooking was making me hungry this is what i had planned for lunch i don't know if i want to eat this just yet um i'm hungry but i think the snack of the pita chips will be enough so uh probably won't eat this but i have this if i want it and it looks so good because it's Idahoan, but then I just realized we're eating Idahoan potatoes with the casserole, so how much potatoes do I need? Uh, I didn't say this was a healthy day of eating, but needless to say, that's what's coming up next. All right, you guys, so this casserole is done, but now we have to melt the cheese on top, which is obviously the best part. Oh yeah, you can start to see that it's getting a little dark around the edges. My crock pot cooks so hot. I don't know what the deal is. All right, hold on, I'm gonna put this here for a second. Hopefully that'll stay, all right. And now I have my shredded cheese here, so I'm just gonna put this on top, and then I'm gonna, let me actually, shut this off and then i'll just let the steam and stuff from this um melt the cheese and then we'll be ready to go daryl's actually not home from work for like another hour and a half but paul's hungry so i'm sure he'll eat i'm still full you guys i said that was gonna happen and i've been picking all day because i'm making recipes and stuff and so that doesn't help and I'll share with you a little bits and pieces of what uh, I made because hopefully you should have seen that video yesterday if all goes well. All right, that's done, cheese is on. Let's let that melt. And then we'll be back for plating. And then that, you guys, was a pretty much the end of my what I eat in a day, a Dollar Tree style. Um, I did get a chance to snap a picture, however, of what the cheese looks like when it melted. I'll put that picture right here. It's the picture that I sent to Daryl. I told you guys how much he loves, loves, loves Sloppy Joe's, so I was really excited about him coming home and seeing what was for dinner, um, but that was pretty much the end of me. I never plated it. Um, I never ate anything. I didn't eat the soup. I didn't eat that dinner it just pretty much stood there uh once i sent that picture off to daryl i actually told paul like hey can you feed the kids i need to go lay down uh, i just i hit my maximum for the day and i didn't even feel like i had done a whole lot i felt like 
I didn't even get nearly accomplished what I wanted to in the day, but I was just, I was wiped and I couldn't take any more. Um, and I went and laid down. Uh, when Daryl got home, he came and he sat with me and, you know, he said like, this is, this is it. If by tomorrow morning you're still feeling like this, we're done. Like you're hospital bound. That's it. You're going. Uh, so he just gave me like a cold rag and I fell asleep on the bed like that. And then when I woke up in the morning, you guys, that was it for me. Like that was, I, I like, I opened my eyes and there was a marching band inside of my head and it was so it, it instantly made me nauseous. Like I got sick a couple of times and there wasn't even anything in my stomach to get sick. So it was literally just me just hurling up my inside of my guts because it just, the pain was incredible. Uh, I jumped into the shower. I thought maybe like a hot shower would kind of relax me, relax my muscles, my stomach muscles. That didn't work. Uh, I ended up cranking it up to cold and was hoping like maybe a cold shower would like shock my body or something. That didn't work and I ended up just crawling out of the shower and laying on the bathroom floor. Uh, I laid like that for a little while and then I called to Daryl he had already left to go to work. He had like a big meeting and I felt so bad because this is his first big staff meeting. I think he's been at this store like maybe six weeks or four to six weeks or something. But this was like the first like big staff meeting. The big wigs were going to be there. They were having it like catered with coffee and donuts and all of that. And I ended up calling him and saying like, I... I can't do this anymore like I'm I'm literally laying on the bathroom floor and he said I'm a, that's it I'm on my way home we're I'm not taking no for an answer we're we're off to the hospital and so I called Marissa and I asked her like what was the best place to go locally and I was really excited because she ended up suggesting that I go to the new hospital which is going to be about five minutes from where my new house is going to be so that worked out perfect because instead of just going to a place super close to here, I got a chance to check out the place that's going to be like my local hospital and they were amazing. <laughs> amazing. This place was, like I said, it's brand new. So it was clean, 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 immaculately clean and bedside manner of the nurses and doctors like, whoa, I, I have to say COVID kind of changed things at least on a hospital level for the better because the professionalism and the way that they handled things was just so amazing. There was a pre-screening at the door where they take your temperature, they ask your symptoms and everything. Have you been tested for COVID? Do you have any of those signs? All like right there in the lobby. And then they give you a band. Like they print it almost like the registrar would be if you were in like a normal ER setting. They like print your band or whatever and then they send you through the doors where a nurse meets you and walks you to a room. I have never been in a ER room in under 60 seconds, like in any time that that's ever happened. Not that I have many like ER visits, but I've never seen it, even if I like, accompanied somebody else it to move the the way that it did um and then they were just once they were in there they were on me like i had an iv and meds and i was seen by the nurse and the doctor within like the first 15 minutes of being there i, ha I hadn't even been like registered yet and you register on an ipad that's like on a stick and they slide it over to you and you can see the woman and she can see you and you guys have like a registrar like face to face on the iPad and then little things pop up and she says like click next and initial here and sign here. It was seriously the simplest process ever. So if anything good came from COVID, it allowed people to see that they can do it like that and it made this process so much smoother um same thing with the dmv i had to go last week because it was my birthday and my license was expired so i had to finally go and switch my license over and it was so simple because i had to have an appointment 
like I've never had an appointment at the DMV. You go to the DMV and you wait online for hours and hours and that was not like this. Like I had an appointment, I walked in, they walked me right onto the line. I gave them my information and then I, poof, my license all set and done and I was out the door. So super, super convenient how they've kind of tweaked things to make it the new normal that are actually smoother so i can say that those things were a benefit um but once they did some blood work it really uh it really opened their eyes to see a lot of what was going on and things that kind of surprised me i mean it's amazing what you can find out from just a couple pages of blood work because they test your everything um and you know they also took a urine sample so they were able to judge my kidneys and my urine and he found a big sinus infection like I didn't even know I had a sinus infection because I had no signs of sinus issues like no no other symptoms of that but uh, he said that I had a bad sinus infection um, some urine and kidney issues so I mean it was pretty shocking to me like all these things that he was able to tell just by running blood work and samples and stuff and I didn't even know that any of them were going on so they did give me a shot of steroids in the hospital along with some pain meds and stuff and then they sent me home with super strong antibiotics and some muscle relaxers because he said the brain is also a muscle, your head and stuff. There's so many muscles in there that he just wanted to be able to keep my body relaxed so there's no possibility of a tension headache also. Um, and then some pain pills just to kind of help manage the pain. So hopefully that little combination of everything will put me on the mend, but I appreciate all of you guys you know i put on my instagram and my community tab that i was heading off to the hospital or that i was there and i really couldn't ask for better youtube family i really couldn't because you guys are so amazing you guys took time out of your day to wish me well and send me love and prayers and i hope you guys know how much i really do truly appreciate it like it it really does it means a lot to me to all of us that you guys care you know about us that way but like I said you guys hopefully I'm on the mend uh, I'm doing my best to kind of just rest uh, that's why it got me like you know no makeup or anything I'm trying not to make this like a whole big to do I do have a lot of things in my computer that just kind of needs to be edited so since I'm just kind of chilling either on the couch overseeing things or in my bed um I have some time to edit so you guys still should get some videos this week nothing that's gonna make me really overdo it but I'm just kind of I want to have a good time this weekend on Halloween I don't want to be debilitated by not feeling good so I want to rest all week the best that I can so that I can be the best that I can come the weekend time a um, lot of really fun stuff coming up in the next couple of weeks and so guys we're only almost in November which means it's almost closing time already like time is just flying um by so a lot going on and i need to be able to take care of myself so i can do those things moving forward so thank you guys so much for watching this video for those of you who came here looking for a what i eat in the in the day dollar tree style i am so sorry that i could not deliver but i don't think i'll ever be able to deliver that kind of video on my channel ever so at least we got a chance to get that out of the way um please don't forget to go and check out tiffany i am dying to see uh what she did for what i eat in the day maybe she actually at least has a what I eat in the day since I wasn't able to um, pull that together and I love you guys all so much and thank you for watching and hit that thumbs up button and I will see you guys in the next one bye guys